Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This one once a feature king here once again. And today I'm doing day two of the 12 days of anime 2021. So today I'm going to be talking about My Senpai is Annoying. And you know, this is such a great series. Episode 12 actually came out today at the time I record, or 11 came out today at the time I'm recording this. Haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but the series is almost done. I want the second season so badly, it's so good. Uh, while it doesn't it fixes every problem. It does fix a lot of the issues I've had as of late with a lot of the repetitive like anime rom-coms. The biggest one being that the, all the characters are adults and it seems to be progressing faster than your typical anime rom-com because of that. So picking a favorite moment though is so hard. It is so hard. But I think so far I have to go with the little, I guess you could say, rivalry between Takeda and Futaba's grandfather. Which is really strange, because Takeda is her... What's his name? Uh, yeah, Takeda. He is her senpai at work, her co-worker. Uh, and it will eventually be her lover, obviously. And Futaba's grandfather is obviously her grandfather. So it's really, so on one hand it's really strange they have a rivalry. Both of them are, are very similar personality wise. And, and it also makes it kind of, that also makes it kind of strange that, he, that she thought that he was, a, that uh, Takeda was annoying. Because he is literally almost exactly like her grandfather. Um, and she seems to be very close with her grandfather. Uh, but anyways, though, like I said, the two of them are almost exactly the same personality wise. And it is so funny watching them uh, compete with each other. Some of the funniest jokes in the entire series are here. I forget which episode it, it's in, but it's absolute comedy gold. But not only that, not only them competing with each other, but there's also the moment when they work together to save uh, uh, Futaba from these douchebags that are asking her out on a date and not wanting to take no for an answer. Alright, and these are th these are some fucking scary men. Like these like Takeda and Futaba's grandfather. These are two scary ass men. Separately. Together? Run. Especially if you're harassing Futaba. I love Futaba's grandfather. I really hope that we see her or see him again in the future. Uh, like he's probably pretty old. I'd say at least fifties. But he is still he is still definitely in shape. You know, he tr drives a fucking motorcycle and wears a leather jacket. Like he is a fucking badass as well. And so yeah, this moment for me is probably my favorite in the entire series so far. And that is saying something when we're talking about a series that is filled with amazingly funny moments. So anyways, let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts on this moment are. And what your favorite moment in the entire series so far are. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Hit the notification bell if you want to know whenever I upload a new video because I really stream videos all the time. Share it around other places such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. If you think it deserves it, to try to help get it and my channel more attention. And also comment down below because that will help on my channel. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.